Really? I know I said I wasn't mad or anything when you didn't tell me about your relationship, but no. I'm mad that I just found out how boring it is. It's not boring, Mina. Well, let's change that word to uneventful, huh? I guess Kachin just has a hard time expressing his feelings. I'm fine with the way it is now. You simp. Shush shush. How is that even simping? Kiri, Kami, Siro, Todo are you seeing this? Yup. Da we are. OFC. Lmeo if he finds out we made this GC we're gonna die. Don't jinx it man. Do they call this being whipped? You ha. Huh? Well if you do want me to say something, I think you should tell him about how you feel. You should never settle for less, Midoriya. See even Toddo agrees with me, you know what you deserve right? Honestly, I don't know. Well to make it short the sparkles, best sparkles. Really? Yes Reali. I know you're happy with him, but that doesn't mean you can't be even happier. Talk to him, okay? Scared he's gonna get mad. No he won't. You know how Kachin is like. Yet us. He's super whipped for you hun smiling face with hearts. Bet on it he'll do the things you want him to do and blush embarrassingly because that boy can't show affection for shit. Agreed. Lmeo honestly I can just see Baku looking away from you all the time blushing. Yeah Midoriya, go for it. Kachin gonna be falling more madly in love with you you. I'd be there for the pics so I can blackmail him. What are you gonna say to him BTW? I totally agree with everyone saying you shouldn't settle for less, but do you need help with anything? See they all agree. Kaminari-kun you promised with the teasing sad pensive face. EHH and Karishima, I honestly have no idea. Really can't imagine myself saying to his face that he should show me more affection. Yeah you're kinda right about that. Hmm, I guess I'll think about it, I'm calling him over after this so I guess good luck to me. Manifesting for Deku to not get killed tonight distraught face with tightly closed eyes. Distraught face with tightly closed eyes. Lumumina. Tell us how it goes bud. I can only imagine him texting us for help. Mortia. Funny blackmail. Siro you only think about blackmail. Bakugo thinks he's so tough but when he's with you he's such a sweetheart, only if he can share that soft side with us. Yeah the furthest soft side you can push with him to us is agreeing to go hang out. Keyboard smash OFC Baku is Baku face with rolling eyes. Also Midoriya, if you need help from me to threaten him. I will gladly help. I. Todo is scary. When Katsuki scrolls through the messages, he can hear his mind swearing at his friends for all the shit they said. Katsuki felt embarrassed that he couldn't stop his own curiosity when he heard the buzzes of Deku's phone beside his bedside table. Deku was taking a shower right now, so I guess it was okay. The blonde didn't know, but he was sure Deku wouldn't have a problem with it if he wasn't hiding something right. He trusts the nerd with his whole heart, but reading the messages in the group chat had made him think if Izuku was always honest with Katsuki when they spend time together. Katsuki knows he isn't the best boyfriend out there, and really, he's. It's the effort that counts, right? Well, maybe today he had realized that results also matter because clearly there was a sentence implanted inside his mind after the embarrassing text messages. Deku wasn't satisfied with where they are now. Boy, did that drive him absolutely fucking nuts. Katsuki realized he was still holding onto Deku's phone when he heard his footsteps out of the shower. Quickly putting the phone back to its last position, he tries to act normal and calm the queasy feeling inside his stomach. He tries to think of ways to apparently reciprocate his boyfriend's effort to their relationship, a part of him getting fixated because he thought he was doing well. Wasn't he? It made the blonde more angry that Deku never came up to his face and complained, rather choosing to rant to his friends about it. Having Katsuki's friends say things like he deserves the best made him think he wasn't the best. That never sit right with him. Did he really think that Katsuki would get mad at him for asking more affection? He wasn't. Kachin? Is everything okay? TCH. Are you mad? No Dumbus I'm not mad, your phone keeps pinging. Ah uh, sorry sorry, should've muted it. It's fine. Hurry and wear some clothes Dumbus, stop walking around shirtless. Katsuki tries to stop his eyes from ogling at Deku's defined, toned abs. 
He really called him useless back then ha, huh? well that's funny seeing how much he's grown and strived to be a better hero. It's just his sense of fashion that needs helping, he finds it funny how Deku wears shirts that literally say t-shirt and have 200 other duplicate shirts that say other things. He's sure Deku's printed one that's labeled as Kachin, after the day he confessed to him. It was cute. He finds his cheeks flaring up into a bright red as he lays on the bed, helplessly trying to hide them with the nerd's all might bed cover. Ah oh shit, sorry Kachin. Don't say sorry, you did nothing wrong it's just... Hmm. Don't go around other people like that. Huh? Damn Deku you really think you won't get chicks staring at you with that body? Kachin? Are you complimenting me right now? You bet I am. Ah well, if you really think about it, I don't think I'll get chicks staring at me with this body. I will beat your ass into a pulp if you say one more you don't magnet chicks. You know you're the only one for me right? I know but I don't like that people can see what I'm having. Kachin is being possessive, cute. Not being possessive. Hmm, <laughs> sure Kachin. Keep teasing me with that mouth of yours I swear to god I won't let you go when we cuddle. You wanna cuddle? Why are you questioning everything I'm doing? Nothing it's just, you never really initiate things so I'm just kinda shocked I guess. To answer your fucking question, yes Dumbus I'm asking you to cuddle. Huh? What? I honestly thought you'd never ask. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Is it really wrong for me to ask for cuddles from my own boyfriend? Katsuki pulls Deku's body towards his lap, straddling him there. Izuku's cheeks reddened at the hasty action, looking at Katsuki's eyes boring into him. Kachin? MHM. You okay with this? MHM. Wanna move to the bed? Sure. Katsuki wraps his arms around Deku's waist, spooning him while he puts his head on the top of his shoulders. He tries even harder by patting through the forest of green hair to comfort him in his sleep. The blonde wondered why he had never really done this with him, it was awfully comforting. Hearing his soft breaths and snores, hair falling all over the place. Plus point was that he just came out of the shower so Izuku smells fucking amazing. He tries not to let his head wander into unwanted places, fuck his brain. Right now in front of him was Izuku Midoriya, his boyfriend, his lover, his significant other looking safe and relaxed in his arms. He'll probably beat himself up when he gets back to his own room for not ever initiating such a thing, and he probably wouldn't because he doesn't want to let go. This warm feeling inside his chest was lurching so far up his brain, it clouded it so much, but all that he can say for himself is that he absolutely loved the feeling. Kachin? MHMM. Katsuki answers with a soft groan when he hears his smooth voice, fuck he swore he was trying to keep himself composed by sleeping but Izuku just always has a way with him he couldn't explain in words. We should do it more often. Fuck yes. Katsuki smirks as a reply, still closing his eyes as he realizes everything is going according to his plan. Katsuki you sly little bastard. Yeah we really should. The both of them sleep there till morning arrives and Deku never spared a look at the flooding texts and notifications on his phone. Bakasquid plus Toddo only can hope that everything goes well for him. The next day Katsuki decides to wake Deku up for a morning jog and insists the green-haired boy that he's gonna cook him breakfast. Izuku had refused him a couple of times because he didn't need to do anything, but Katsuki won the fight by telling Izuku that he wanted to take care of him. It had made Izuku's stomach churn up with butterflies, clearly amazed by the newfound affection from the love of his life. Nothing made him happier. Kachin, you know you don't have to do this right? I have to because your dumbass can't even cook yourself a proper and healthy meal for yourself. Talk to me when you don't eat instant noodle packets at 6am in the morning and get yourself beat up when we go back to the dorm. HMPH, Kachin so much with the insults today. Your lack of self-preservation is making my mouth spew a lot of shit. Besides you don't even have to do anything, just sit back and relax hmm? It's been such a long time since I've tasted your cooking. You're clearly gonna fucking enjoy it. Katsuki takes out the toasted breads and places them on his plate. He takes out an avocado and splits it into two, scooping out the filling so he can mush them. Once mushed into a bowl, he grabs a bread knife and spreads the avocado on the bread. Topping it off with some sunny side up eggs and a pinch of salt. For himself, he added a sprinkle of chili pepper for a more savory result. This is so good. Of course it is, it's my cooking and the only thing you need to do is to sit pretty and eat. 
Izuku blushes at the sudden compliment, taking a larger bite at the avocado toast to avoid looking straight into Kachin's eyes. What? Can't even face me after one compliment? You damn nerd. The blonde boy smirks at the reaction of his boyfriend, moving closer to his side as he ruffles his soft green curls again. He would never say it out loud, but Katsuki absolutely loved touching his hair. Deku. Yeah. Wanna go on a date today? He obviously chokes on his own food. Katsuki quickly stood up to grab him a glass of water, rubbing soothing circles on his back to let the food go down to the right pipe. I'm sorry what? Date? You and me? He stares at Kachin confusingly, stuttering to find a good reply because for real, being shoved affection right to his face was too unfamiliar for him. What makes it funnier is that he wanted to talk to Katsuki about this, but the blonde decides to beat him out of it. That's really funny. Huh? Why yay? Don't give me that half-assed response. I mean, yes. That would be great actually. Do you have any idea of where we're gonna go? Amusement park, you and me, got tickets. Really? Someone's excited. It's just been so long since I've been to one. School is kind of tiring sometimes, you know how it goes right. Not a lot of breaks in between. I know, and good for you today is a Saturday so you can shove the stress up your ass and have fun with me. How about that, Dumbus? Bet. Kachin, I'm going to throw up. Katsuki lets out a loud laugh as Izuku holds onto his hands for balance. They had bet on how many rides Izuku could take until he threw up, Katsuki noticing the prominent motion sickness written all over his face. The blonde starts to pat his back, to comfort him a little bit after so many roller coaster rides that blew both their adrenalines away. Katsuki loved every second of it, looking at Izuku's expression just made everything so much better. Scared, but excited, a part of him kept nudging at his hand for reassurance. How many more can you take, huh? I regret getting myself into this. Not my fault you were apparently so competitive over such a little thing. Say that to me when you don't get mad after two rounds of losing to me in Smash Bros. He looks away from his red eyes, he can feel Kachin's annoyed expression even without any eye contact. Izuku hears his boyfriend reply to him with a loud scoff. Dumbus. I'm supposed to be the one making fun of you. Whatever. Katsuki's anger had dissipated after Deku had almost collapsed to the floor, now guilty for making him go through such a thing. Hey? Are you okay? I'm fine, just kind of dizzy. Hold on to me, K. MHMM. Katsuki takes Deku's waist, and hoists his hand around his neck. Izuku's legs hung above the blonde's arms and he flinched a little before finally noticing that Katsuki was carrying him bride-style. At an amusement park. In public. In front of everyone. Kachin. What are you doing? Those words only made Katsuki hold onto Deku's thighs and waist tighter, looking down at him with a smug expression. Katsuki didn't care about the looks, a bunch of extras were just staring at them because he's being the best fucking boyfriend. Carrying your dumbass because you can't even stand up. Why? What do you mean why, idiot? We're in public? So? You usually don't like public displays of affection and hate it when people look at you or me and I just never thought you'd be the person to carry me bride style in the day for a date in front of everyone in public because I can't stand up properly and I feel sick but no. I feel even more sick now that you're carrying me and I just breathe, nerd. Katsuki coos Deku as he lays his chin on top of his head. He tries to find a spot where people don't usually go, he notices that maybe the looks of people might not have disturbed him, but disturbed Izuku. He finds a bench to finally put Izuku down, his hands quite a shaking mess after such, what he thinks, an embarrassing act. Kachin. MHM. Was that too much for you? Yay. He murmurs quietly while looking down at the concrete floor, Izuku was a blushing mess. It was worse that his stomach was making him act up. Do you want me to get you water? That's actually great. Tossing the bottle of water to Izuku's direction, he grabs and finishes the bottle after 15 seconds of opening it. Katsuki tells him to slow down cause knowing Deku he'd probably choke on it again, and the last thing the blonde wants today is having water spit at his face. Slow down, the world isn't ending you idiot. Izuku faces Katsuki with confusing eyes, uncountable questions forming inside his mind. 
Yes the date with Kachin that he initiated was amazing, yes the food Kachin made for him that he insisted to make was mouth-watering, quite literally. And yes the way Kachin carried him in front of everyone because he didn't mind made the euphoric feeling inside Izuka's chest bloom, but. There was a but. It made him absolutely confused. And he knows he's not supposed to but Kachin never acts this way towards him, yes he's happy but he's still in denial about his boyfriend showing actual affection in front of him after getting neglected so many times. Even being together with him sometimes blew his mind away, he was grateful and happy, but it just, Izuku needed reassurance sometimes. Wanna go to the Ferris wheel? Kachin nods. Izuku tries to avoid clearing up the tension between the two, instead feeding his eyes with the beautiful view ahead of him. This was okay he had thought. No one was around and he could finally ask Kachin why he was acting so, weird the whole day. The greenette had considered the fact that Katsuki would be mad if he started asking things like why are you so affectionate today, Kachin, did I do anything wrong for you to act so weird like this? Or Kachin why are you being too nice today? No, scratch that, he wasn't brave enough to confront him about the stupid questions inside his head. His heart really couldn't take it, he knows it was going to jump out of his chest if the blonde just abruptly gave him a peck on the cheek or leaned his head on his shoulders as they were looking at the majestic view in front. Knowing Katsuki he'd probably be sneaky and put his hands on Izuku's thighs. And then what? It was doing Izuku's heart wonders, going to places that he would have never thought it would travel to. Kachin. Deku. They said it at the same time. Great. Fucking great. Izuku tilts his head a little, smiling at him while he scratches the back of his hair noticing how the tension had just tripled tenfolds. You. Go first. No, you just say it first. He doesn't want to fight now, and surely Izuku doesn't want to miss the chance of talking to him and suddenly getting the door of the ferris wheel right open, politely getting asked to leave. Kachin wants him to say something, so he was gonna say something. Why are you doing this? All of a sudden? Doing what? Public displays of affection? Suddenly cooking for me? Asking to cuddle? Oh my god, Kachin's laughing. He's laughing. Why are you laughing? Izuku's voice grew concerned, obviously so confused at everything happening. How long were they gonna be up here anyway? How much time do they have left? Kachin leaned his head downwards to close in the distance between his and Izuku's face, a tiny inch separating them apart. Inevitably, the tint in the greenette's face darkening each second. Izuku could definitely tell Kachin was teasing him, and that was not fair. Stop it. MHM. Stop what? Stop teasing. I, might have read your text messages, while you were showering. You did? It's okay right? Out of all responses, I totally never saw a laugh coming. I'm not laughing because of the texts, I'm just laughing because you're so flustered. That's unfair. It's fair. No. Are you mad at me for reading them? No. You sound like you are. Izuku looks away from Katsuki's disturbingly handsome face, trying to come up with the right words inside his brain for a proper reply. He scrunches his nose and pouts a little before finally speaking. I'm not mad. I'm just shocked. Probably a little disappointed now. The last words he only managed to mumble. What's that? Can't hear you if you don't use that pretty voice of yours. Katsuki smirks at him, still trying to keep the eye contact Izuku was noticeably trying to avoid. I'm disappointed. Why? Because you're probably not doing it out of your own will and because of the text messages. You think so? Yay? Nerd, maybe I wouldn't be doing it today if it weren't for the text messages. But I chose to do it because I was pissed you never told me how you felt. If I had known I'd fucking try harder to make you feel loved, so it's not always you making me feel so loved. Just be honest with me, okay? I won't get mad at you for complaining about anything and I want to make this work between and make sure you're happy too. Izuku smiles, the flustered color of his cheeks still very apparent because of Katsuki's genuine and gentle words. He liked this new side of Kachin. Deku. You still mad? I was never mad. How about I make it up to you? How? Katsuki leans his head closer to him as he gazes at the greenette's slightly chapped lips. Do emerald eyes meeting foxy crimson ones, the blonde closes the distance by giving him a chaste kiss. The other boy grins, earning the natural courage to grab his neck and let his fingers wander around and caress Katsuki's nape. The exit is on the right sea. Oh shit. 
Are you all anim merch deprived? Cause I am. Since a bitch is so desperate for them to be alive but can't do anything about it. Maybe it's just for the better to collect merch. Click the link in my description to buy a collection of anim merch of your favorite show. Use code MEME for an extra 5% discount for about $49 and extra 10% discount for orders over $100. Link is in my description.